Hello, today I'm going to show you how to properly use surface enhanced Raman substrates. Ocean Optics offers three different types of substrates, two that are based on gold or silver nanoparticles embedded in quartz paper, and another that is based on a gold-silver alloy film that is deposited on a glass surface. And today I'm going to show you how to use all three of these substrates in the proper fashion. To start, we're going to make sure that we have the correct experimental setup involving a laser. In this case, we're using 785 nanometer excitation, a QE Pro spectrometer, and a Raman fiber optic probe. And we're going to follow the steps that are listed on the back of each SIRS substrate package. The first step involves focusing the laser. The laser power is set to 15 milliwatts for the gold or silver paper substrates. This ensures that we do not burn the substrates with higher laser powers. We're going to turn the laser on and then we're going to focus the laser spot on the substrate by adjusting the stage up or down. Once we see that the laser spot is focused, we're going to then follow the next step on the package, which is taking a dark reference of our sample. To do that, we're going to open Ocean View, and we're going to open the Raman module. We're going to follow the steps in the Raman module, and our first step is to set the integration time. I'm going to set the integration time to three seconds as a recommended integration time. The next step is to take the dark reference by clicking the gray bulb. Then we're going to make sure that our laser wavelength is set to 785 and complete the module. Now we should see a flat baseline after we take the dark reference. Once we've subtracted the background peaks from the spectrum, we can then add our analyte of interest. In this case, we're going to add BPE, which is a fuel marker. It's a common SIRS analyte. And for the gold or silver paper substrates, I'm going to add about 15 microliters of this analyte. I'm going to add it directly to the substrate. And once the analyte dries on the substrate, then we can take our measurement. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the gold-silver alloy nanosponge substrate. For this case, we can use higher laser powers because the substrate is glass-based. So we can turn up the laser power to 20 milliwatts and not compromise the surface of the substrate. Here, we also need to focus the laser onto the surface. Once we have it focused, we follow the same steps by taking the dark reference before we add our analyte of interest. First, we're going to click the gray bulb to subtract out the background spectrum. Once we have a flat baseline, then we can add our analyte of interest. For the nano sponge substrate, we're adding 10 microliters of our analyte. This is the optimal amount for this substrate. Once the analyte dries, then we can take our measurement spectrum. For more information, visit www.oceanoptics.com.